I'm John D. Reinhardt. And I'm on a mission to explore California's rich aviation heritage from the dawn of flight right through to the space age by visiting the many California air museums. With the windmills of the Tehachapi Pass to the west and the sprawling Edwards Air Force Base to the east, we visit the great but little known Mojave Air Museum Legacy Park. Nestled against the south side of the Mojave Air and Spaceport, if you're on your way to Bishop or headed out to Las Vegas, this three-plane open-air museum is a must-see, especially if you're interested in jet aircraft. We took a look under the fuselage of the NASA Convair CV-990 and saw how it contributed to the space shuttle program. So in the shuttle days, during the shuttle test days, this is where the main gear is up inside this well. Next, we got to examine close up and personal the arrestor hook on this F4 Phantom 2. It drops down, right? There's, there's a, a hinge right here that lets it drop. There's a little piece of sheet metal that keeps the wind from sucking through this open section. When it drops, it hangs below the aircraft. So the entire weight of the aircraft gets grabbed on this hook. And not just the weight of the aircraft. This is what got me. You realize all the momentum of the single is 35 tons traveling that direction at 150 miles an hour. This guy grabs onto the, a cable on the aircraft carrier deck, slows it down and stops the airplane. And it, so it, this is an incredible piece right here. And it's replaceable. And you can see that now there's a bolt up here so that holds the weight of it. But that can be taken off and replaced. And this entire assembly can be removed. And listen, can you hear that? That is not a piece of aluminum. That's a hard piece. Listen to this, here's the skin. Nice and hollow. Not this guy. And who knew she was a drone? This airplane served in Vietnam and it got moved out here. It was converted over to be a drone, no pilot. And the uh, orange tail feathers, leading edges in this orange color, identify it to other aircraft in the air and also the people on the ground, this has no pilot. Finally, we get to check out the fender on a Saab T-35 Draken. Obviously, it's meant for landing in rough circumstances where the snow or ice is gonna come up here and clog it and cause the wheel to stall. And it was a little windy, but it was great fun. You can find the Mojave Air Museum Legacy Park right at the entrance to the Mojave Air and Spaceport at 1434 Flight Line, right where Highway 58 crosses Highway 14 in Mojave. Just north of there, north of Mojave itself, and here off to the side of the highway is a, uh, a boneyard, essentially, for airliners. And this is where airliners come to be retired and they're not ready for the scrapyard yet. They're still full of useful parts for planes that are flying. 